Greetings and welcome. I'm Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you are doing well. I remain humble in the presence of spirit. Trigger warning, the subject matters of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. All cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. Alright, so in this episode I'm looking at the current case of missing mom and wife. Mamta but and Mamta unfortunately well according to the husband has been missing since July the 31st and I can tell you now that on July the 31st unfortunately and I'm sure we can agree I'm seeing the number 314 and that's the day that she supposedly was last seen by the husband, right? So what do we have with the 31-4? Unfortunately, 31-4 equals corpse. Sorry to say. Um, sorry, if you don't know the case, uh, let's just do the outline here. Yeah. Um, well, according to her husband, the last time they had dinner together was on July the 31st. Bullshit. Um, the last time anyone saw her at work was on July the 27th. And her final text to friends and family was on the Sunday, July 28th. Police have subsequently found evidence of pooling of mass blood at the home. And uh, of course, at this stage, we can't find Mamta. So we're going to look at the sequence of events leading up to the 31st. But I believe we need to focus on the zone here. The 28th evening into the morning of July the 29th. We will also take reference from the Gabby Petito case that I profiled in my current book, True Crime and Numerology. There's a clue for us there. And then we will go deeper to understand what has transpired here with the 369 reflection summary sequence. This is the area where Mamta has gone missing. And um, I must say, I've been trying to gauge what has happened here. And we know, for example, so the markers where the house is in that area, not exact. Um, but her phone pinged in this area, yeah, LD. But I believe that is a red herring situation. Because in my opinion, you can always move the focus away from you by switching on the phone in that area. Because I, I believe he moved in this area here to the right of his location. That's what I. That's the general sense. So if I had to put a circle, more or less, this is not exact at the moment, but I would say he moved in this area. But the plot thickens, I'm afraid, and um, we will look at that in a minute. But my general sense is that to the right of his location is where we possibly would find evidence of Mamta. So now with the husband saying that he saw or they sat down for dinner on this evening, very convenient. So for me, the alarm bells start ringing when I see the 31-4. That tells me, unfortunately, there's a passing already. Now, I believe the crime went down on Sunday evening. Okay, and I'll tell you why. If, if we look on the Monday, July 29th, 
The first number we see here is a 29.11.2. So this is already telling me there's a law has been broken. There's effectively chaos must have been going through this guy's head, right? And the reason why I would say there's chaos, because although I believe, and I'll show it, there was tension in the home. I'll show it. But I believe the circumstances around what happened here was during a fit of rage. Supreme rage. And I'll point it out for you. So for me, when you see 36, 9, 18, 9, that is, it's already completed, unfortunately. Okay. So therefore, the zone becomes an in and out situation again. The latter part of Sunday into the Monday. Okay. As a 24 hour cycle. Based on the current evidence, there's uh, evidence of him buying knives, etc., cleaning materials, the usual props one would need. Because we see a 44.8. Now, under circumstances, and this is based on evidence of pooling of blood in the home, buying knives, cleaning materials, because he's obviously done something to the body here, right? Now, the 44.8, under some circumstances, can speak to a design, a plan. But in this case, and this is going to sound terrible. In this case, it's the, I believe, it's the surgical operation, attempted surgical operation of destroying evidence, unfortunately. And it's followed by 26.8. Now, a 26.8 in a violent crime like this is, unfortunately. And it's ghastly, I must say. And we'll go there. 26.8. So, let me just put you in the mindset. 44.8 speaks about sorting out the body, right? But because of the nature of it, it is gruesome. 26.8 is a gruesome combination. So, unfortunately, I don't believe we are going to find Mamta alive, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say. Now, let's go from the beginning to the end, and then we'll go deep. And, and I believe the clue is given to us on Tuesday. So, let's just start with Thursday, 25. So already on the day, Thursday, we see a 40 with an outcome 4. In combination with 14.5, is the arsehole bullshit going on. Um, you know, this is what happens with couples. Because we, obviously we're dealing with um, spousal murder here, right? Is that when couples fight... A lot of the time, and I've experienced it, and I'm sure we all experienced it, we can argue over the dumbest things. But at the time, they seem so important. But retrospectively, it usually is bullshit stuff arguing about, right? So there's, I believe there is some tension in the home here. So Friday, July 26, we see triple eights. We see a 15-6. With an outcome 14.5 and a hidden 33.6. So there's tension going on in this home. And the last scene at work, and there is a report um, that she was picked up by a, um, I suppose, an unknown vehicle, because they haven't said whose vehicle it belongs to. However, Having cancelled an Uber ride and taken a lift by this vehicle, I don't believe whoever that person was is responsible for the demise of Mamta. However, I believe it create it could I believe it possibly created issues. 
So I'm just saying, and I'll show that here. So also I want to point out before we go into the red zone, um, before the red zone starts, we have a familiar 24-6, so someone familiar. And this is first periphery familiarity or second, but the person would be known to her, see her every day and communicate with her every day. And uh, the husband in one of the videos that I saw, not knowing when the kids wake up and all this nonsense, that's bullshit. Then what kind of father are you if you don't even know what the cycle of your kids are? 24-6 familiarity, 15-6, the arsehole is on the scene. So what happens? So she comes home. And the very next morning, Sunday, so Sunday is when she does her final text, social media stuff, right? With friends and family. But when they wake up in the morning, there's a huge argument, 28 10, 1. So was there some kind of jealousy in the air? Or he was annoyed because some other man picked up his wife and brought her home instead of him sorting her out? Or however the arrangements are, but there's an argument, 28 10, 1. And unfortunately, this is where things get out of hand. We also see a mass of eights on the Sunday. Beg your pardon. So there's there's out of control behavior happening, very violent to the human body eights. And if the pool of blood's anything to go by. And hidden we have this ghastly, ghastly, ghastly number, 35-8, which reflects this ghastly number and in fact both because 35 8 is what human beings should not do to a human being physically okay this is very aggressive so i can tell you now this this day this morning and day in this household was terror and this is all in relation to the current information as well as information that I'll pick up here. The other number I want to bring to your attention is the 43.7. So here's, here's the first real evidence. And it's, it's there. But here is the reversal of 34.7. So 34.7 is a union in the positive. Now we're starting to see, now this is from sunset on Sunday in the evening. We see a 43.7. That is the ending of a union. And because she's an innocent, it reflects as a 7. I believe he would have, I'm sorry to say, strangled her. 16.7, asphyxiation, strangulation. 25.7 confirms the issue amongst the couple. So, you know, I don't want to be generalist and put everyone under the same cultural barriers or anything like that. Um, but when you're dealing with um, couples of Indian origin, there are very strict rules, and I suppose in all marriages, um, but, uh, you know, in some cultures, if you look at another man, that could be the end of you, right? Let alone someone driving you home in a beautiful car. So, there is violence of an unnatural situation here on Sunday ending in a death unfortunately so I believe the day that this the night the evening of July the 28th is when we need that's when it went down in my opinion so the next morning when he wakes up he's got problems on his hand here 
29.11.2 is an unlawful, 11.2, unlawful act. What is the act? Murder, 9. And we see here in the hidden, beg your pardon, let me just move this down a bit here. We see hidden, 36.9, that is a terrible, terrible situation and a murder. Okay. Now, interestingly, now this is where the clue from Gabby Petito's case comes in. On Tuesday. So on Tuesday, this 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 took me a while to figure out. We see an outburst, a feminine outburst, 30 with an outcome 3. Now, one can argue. Um, she was possibly still alive on July the 30th. Let's just say for argument's sake. Fine. But then what is this number doing here? 37101. Because we'll know from previous episodes, 37101 is about people in authority or in position. So we're talking family now. Huh? So obviously family is a big situation in this culture so we got 37 10 1 who's making decisions other than the husband and it's certainly not the wife so someone else knows about the incident in my opinion because there's decisions being made and the person that knows about what actually happened here is an older female like an aunt or mother or any female matriarch typically would be older than the husband has had an outburst but the outburst then followed by decisions of what to do there's where the plot thickens and this is why i say i don't believe the husband the husband may have murdered her yes and disposed of her, yes. But post murder, before disposal, there are other people of the knowing, in my opinion. So I was trying to see, and this is the true crime and numerology, if you're interested in uh, using numerology and crime, this will get you going. So here's the Gabby Petito case. Now we know that Gabby was murdered, right? Two days after the event. So what do we see here as well? We see a 30 outcome three year. So there's an outburst and we realized that it couldn't have been Gabby that was the outburst because she had already been deceased. And that is why I believe her fiance had contacted his mother. And we see these hidden 37, 10, 1, this 43, 7. Do we see 43, 7? Again, we see the usual suspects around the corner, 24, 6, 15, 6 arseholes. And again, on August 31, ladies and gentlemen, there's a 31, 4. Okay. We have the same pattern that has occurred here. Okay. So when I was trying to gather what had happened, and this is going to be a little bit terrible to hear, I'm afraid. And again, I hope I'm wrong. I believe it's going to be, if we, I believe them, we might find something or the police might find something but I believe, as in a previous case, he would have scattered the remains rather than have them all in one place. Does that make sense? So now keeping in mind, that's what I believe, keeping in mind that he only, I mean, the case was only reported missing in August, right? He had all this time from Sunday night Till Wednesday, that's why it was convenient for him to say, 
But we had dinner on the evening of the 31st. Bullshit. So effectively, let's give him the full days. So effectively, he had 72 hours to sort out the situation. And then, ah, oh, let's have dinner tonight, honey. And he probably sat there by himself having dinner, the pig. All right, let's go deeper. So here's the sequence here. Yo, oh, this guy gives me the creeps, huh? Now, in the plus three zone, and we've seen this recently, particularly with those celebrity feasts, 46101. You don't want to see this number at a crime scene because that is what human beings should not be doing to other human beings' bodies after the fact. There. So it's 32.5, so we're in and out here. 32.5, highly destructive number, very violent. And we note the 39.12.3 year in the reflection zone. He was a pig. Because he would have restrained her and kept her submissive. 39.12.3 in the Gabby situation as well, right? And in Gabby's case, she was trapped inside the little van. This is interesting here. 20 with an outcome 2. So I believe this would have been his. So you know with these uh, dominant males or supposedly dominant males. They all get out of control with their anger and violence like we saw. But then afterwards, when all is said and done, sits there like a baby and cries. Real baby. 20 outcome 2. Crying like a baby. So, I'm picking up the number again. 22.4. We're looking at landfill and land earth sites. I know that's very vague given... I had a look at this territory. I mean, it's, it's so vast... It's crazy, man. Um, let's see if we get additional information. But I believe we're looking at landfill, land earth sites. Um, Look at the out of the plus six. There's that horrible number with all the eights. And look who's there. The arsehole in the middle. The arsehole husband in the middle. It's amazing how this number pops up in spousal murders. Now this 50 with an outcome 5 is, is troublesome, I must admit. I find it a little bit unusual that we have it on at the scene here, I must say. Um, which on the one hand, I'm, I can just feel this bad energy with him. The, For lack of a better word, he behaved like a barbarian, like a savage with that 50 zero. And again, we see this 37.10.1. So there's definitely not only him in the knowing of what happened to his wife. Someone else knows. So if we go back to the sequence here, I would look at his phone on Monday and Tuesday. His phone records for Monday and Tuesday. Which or who of the family members or who did he contact on that day? On these two days that brought around this outburst and then decisions were made by more than just him. So phone records Monday, Tuesday to determine who he was speaking to and they need to go press those people because someone else knows what happened here. Guaranteed.
So again, I'm just putting a caution here. I don't want to be generalistic in cultures. We know they're from, um, is it Nepal? Eh? But there, there's this element and it's also present in the 43.7 that I mentioned. Uh, let's just go back here. Mm, yeah, the 43.7. The, just keep that in mind. 43.7 and this number here. 52.7. It's almost like, and I'm just going to say it. This gentleman, based on his culture, believes he has the right to do what he wants with his wife. Does that make sense? 43.7 is almost like um, a sacrificial mercy murder for sins committed uh, and the sins as determined by the husband, right? So the husband is the judge and the executioner with this lady, is what this is telling me. Um, oh, sorry, did I move this here? And there's, again, we have this 3811 too. So did he drive to a relative or did he drive to someone that he knows? And also, who did he call that he knows to help? So in my opinion, he made contact with either a friend or family member, more than likely family member, with a 3710 one. And this situation was discussed. Is what happened and not to repeat this too many times but what he did with the body I will just say um, he, he he would have minimized evidence as much as possible is all I'm gonna say I did receive an image while meditating on these charts uh, the police will find some kind of evidence to tie him to the physical murder of his wife. I saw an image. Um, but the situation, like in many cases, is clouded by a lot of dark darkness. But I believe to the right of his location, more this side, is where we'll find evidence. But I don't, I believe this thing here with the phone was a red herring, in my opinion. And I know a couple of viewers, I know you've been asking for me to do the show. Um, and I must just say, and I keep getting the same impression that I don't believe he would have discarded her all in one place. And in fact, I'm getting reminded of a show that I did. Um, and I'm just going to quickly call it up here. Yeah. Do you guys remember the case with Anna and Brian Walsh? I believe we have the same situation here. Because the only evidence we found of him was the um, the knives and some bloody items, right? But we never found the body, unfortunately. And I believe this is the same situation here that we have in this case. And that's why I say, you know, he had a lot of time to dispose of evidence and I believe he is quite intelligent even though he thinks we he's more intelligent than us right um, and would have disposed as much as possible in different locations um, but I believe there will be more evidence found apart from what they have already that will link him to the unfortunate death of his wife because of his issues. And justice will be served. And interestingly, just having said that, as I said that, the crime took place on a seven outcome day. 
Justice will be served. Don't mess with sevens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't believe, of course, we can agree, I don't believe there's a good outcome here based on the evidence already. And he had a lot of time to dispose of this evidence. But they will find evidence that will link him to the crime. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the impromptu case of uh, Mamta. And uh, may your soul rest in peace. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, stay alert. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.